Hey, welcome to my channel. This is the third and final part of the series in which I'm covering the animation library Anime.js. We can use a variety of callback functions within the anime function. Each one of them executes some code depending on the event occurring before, during, or after the animation. The first callback function to cover is update. This function executes its code on each frame of the animation's duration. Same as any other callback function, update takes a parameter that represents the current animation object. Thus, we can use the progress property within this object to display the animation's progress. There is also a couple of callback functions which are begin and complete. Begin executes its code the moment the animation gets started. The begun property indicates if the animation has started by returning true. On the other hand, complete gets triggered at the animation's end. The completed property indicates if the animation has finished by returning true. Loop begin and loop complete are another couple of callback functions which get triggered whenever an iteration of the animation is started and completed. An enemy instance returns a promise once the animation is finished.
We can remove the animation from a particular element through the remove method. We can also get properties values of an element through the get method and we can furthermore specify in what unit if it's not a unitless value. The set method sets the properties value to a specific value so it takes place instantly without any animation. As its name suggests, the random method returns an arbitrary value between a minimum and a maximum value, which are specified as parameters. We can use the request animation method to create a loop of the animation without the need to use the loop property within the anime function. More on this subject in the article at the link in the description. Finally, we can get all the running instance of AnimeJS through the running array which contains each instance as an item.
As I mentioned in the first episode of this series, AnimeJS is known for its capability to deal with SVG elements. One of the most commonly created effects is the Morphin effect, which basically is the transformation of the shape of an SVG element into a new one over a certain duration. To do that, we need to create a shape using any SVG compatible software such as Adobe Illustrator and export then add it to the page. Now we need to create a variation of the shape and then copy the points coordinates and paste them as a value for the points property within the anime function. Another nice effect that can be done through the combination of AnimeJS and SVG elements is the motion path effect. With this effect we can move a DOM element and make it follow a particular SVG path. So we need to create a path first then add it to the HTML file. Now we need to use the path method to take the necessary data from within the SVG path. That done, we just simply need to translate the div on the x and y axis and the values will be provided dynamically through the path constant. Now the div's movement is following the same path as the SVG, however, it needs a bit of tweaking to make the shape overlap the SVG element on the page.
still can make a step further. So, in order to make the square rotate when it hits a certain angle of the path, we need to use the rotation property. And same as we did with the translation, we need to provide the angle dynamically through the path constant. Lastly, we can make some line drawing effects to create cool animation on texts for instance. So, first of all, we need to create a text, convert it into a path and then export it and add it to the page. Then, we need to use the stroke-offset property which takes an array as value. The first part of the set-offset array creates an offset enough to hide all the path. Zero on the other hand, which is the point to reach, means that there is no dash offset. In other words, the path is fully visible at this point. So this is it for this tutorial, make sure to subscribe and see you in the next video.